Oh no, it's starting to get a little messy in my office. I am going to need a filing cabinet. These old style cabinet are just not going to cut it. Yes, my filing cabinet is finally here. I can finally get organized. All right, guys, here's the unboxing of the device. Three drawer, mobile cabinet. Wish me luck. By the way, this is a uh, entitled heavy right there. So make sure you probably lift it with two person. You do not use too heavy weight so you don't work out. And right there is made in China. So here we are guys, straight out of the box. So I actually paid $125.99 for this filing cabinet like a month ago. It looks like the price went up to $135.99. And it comes in a black color and also a classic style off-white color for about $5 cheaper. Alright, there you see it has a keyhole on the right, which mean, obviously means it's lockable. So the measurements of this are, the width is 15.7 inches width, 18.9 in depth, and the height of 24.4 inches. And it weighs about 48.4 pounds with a load capacity of an amazing 330 pounds. So you can imagine a thick boned person sitting on it. All right, so let's go ahead and take an in-depth look at this cabinet. It's obviously made of steel and no, it is not fireproof. All right, so don't ask. Let's go ahead and cut this. Extract the keys from here. It looks like you get two sets of cool looking keys right there. Let's go ahead and open this up, unlock it. What do you know? These are the wheels in here. And I believe it comes with a free pencil case. That's pretty awesome. So as you can tell right there, there are three cabinets. One is lockable. Uh, and two are stationary. I believe the stationary one is on the one side down there. The bottom one being the one filing cabinet. Let's go ahead and take a look at the wheels and how we assemble them. It should be pretty much straightforward. In case you want to know how to do it, I'll show you guys. So it's a little more involved in that, I guess. The assembly instructions, um, pretty basic, pretty much straightforward. Here's a look at the pencil case, pretty awesome right there. Some other companies might charge additional 15 bucks or something like that. So tray. Let's go ahead and put the wheels on. So here's what the bottom of the unit looks like. So make sure you have all these components, the four wheels. We have the four washers, the uh, screws, and also this stopper unit, along with the instruction manual. Let's go ahead and get to assembling. So it's stacked up like this, the washer along with the wheel base so you just you can use the screw i mean the wrench or use a hand but just tighten it accordingly the final steps of the tightening will require the use of a wrench in my haste i know it's a mistake already it looks like these wheels as a stopper should belong in the front of the unit so i'm gonna have to remove it and then install it in the front so finally i have the correct position of the Stopper wheel located to the front now when you activate it Basically, it locks the wheel in place for the vendor from moving. So now we're going to install this stopper from 
this tilter stopper from the the cabinet from uh, tilting in case the weight is imbalanced. So we're going to go ahead and use the screws and assemble like this position. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and tilt it back in the upright position. Doesn't that look beautiful, guys? It matches my new desk, stand up desk. And here's the pencil tray. Let's go ahead and, well, let me go ahead and lock it first. By the way, it locks all three cabinets. I was wrong before. Let's go ahead and put the pencil tray in here. That's just nicely and beautiful like that. It's quite roomy in there. Let me give you a close-up look, guys. Close-up look. Do you see it? It's sturdily built. Here's a second drawer. Here's a filing cabinet. You can either use a legal size or a leather size. Leather size, legal size. But you have to buy your own uh, filing uh, folders. They're quite roomy in here. We put all your essentials. Let's see how well this rolls. Oh, I actually had the wheel locked, didn't I? So with both wheels unlocked, it moves easily. Now with both wheels locked, it takes quite some force to move it. Which is definitely useful. And the tilt factor is that in case it's imbalanced, you have the extra wheel in the front so it doesn't tilt in any positioning. So here I have the new cabinet located right underneath my stand-up desk. Make sure you check out that review. It fits perfectly and it matches the color and decor. It's quite messy. So let's go ahead and what happens when I put everything inside the drawer and see how it looks. All right, guys, I have all of my junk in this cabinet. Let's go ahead and test the locking capability. It's good to go. Isn't this a lot cleaner and organized? Put everything inside the drawer. Check it out, guys. Love that pencil tray. So many receipts. I need to stop shopping. Why is it squeaky? But anyway, all that down. It looks perfect. It's affordable. I love the well construction. It's got plenty of good reviews. On a scale of 100%, I do recommend it. If you're looking for an awesome, well-built, sturdy, fine cabinet that locks away all three cabinets, um, go check out the, the device. Three-drawer lockable fine cabinet. I'm going to put the purchase link in the description. Highly recommend it. On a scale of 100%, I'm going to hook this up with a 90%, guys. Thanks for supporting my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Stay organized, baby.